What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and we're just going to be jumping right into the video. No me babbling about whatever, complaining about whatever, talking about my coffee, whatever my day, whatever. We're just going to be jumping right into it, looking at AMD Advanced Micro Devices. Boom, bang, bing, bang is definitely off to the races here. Not up crazy today, but it's very significant level that we're looking at here. 95-ish dollars. Again, this is around 2.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time as of the 14th of December. And we're seeing a very large order that just kind of came through playing the February uh, time frame. Um, again, playing that $100 call, uh, which is, again, a very uh, particular uh, aggressive move potentially going here. Um, with that movement we're seeing here, uh, someone is looking at uh, purchasing the $100 call. Uh, what they could be doing here is just kind of a... Uh, placing their uh, bets in a very strategic way on um, they could be potentially buying the 87 and then selling the 100 but as it comes through they're both isolated as white so that means it was kind of cut in the middle on the bid so but that being said still a very aggressive pattern going through here especially with 8250 of these uh, being purchased uh, as of today and that's a little over 5.5 million dollars okay I mean, that is a one heck of a very aggressive move if they're thinking for uh, AMD to potentially go higher. So this is again a little bit of a, uh, uh, again, this news is just hitting me as well. So I'm kind of processing it, looking at it potentially. Uh, if you don't know, we've talked about AMD multiple times on live streams, other videos. AMD is one of my favorite stocks ever um, and has been a fantastic uh, really a stock that has been highlighted uh, on this channel multiple times uh, I know Ryan has been in it a lot of other folks within the discord they love AMD as well and they've been long-term shareholders as well as myself with that being said we do are again people are really already placing their bets on how the overall movement within uh, the uh, earnings would be coming up again these are going on to february so this is february of next year so it's a little bit a little bit away it's a 67 days was again gives it a little bit of time here if we open up the options tree here for february 19th of february 2021 you're seeing that the beautiful number of the open volume and this is going to probably be translated to the open interest come tomorrow on the massive amount of volume that is going into 100 uh, price targets. So again, and you, once we jump into the chart, you'll see on how AMD has kind of been fluctuating at potentially kind of like uh, ping ponging around some very key levels. AMD is a stock that really does this kind of uh, pattern where it just kind of uh, bounces around. So let's go ahead and just look in the chart here before I get even more excited here. Um, give you a little bit of history lesson with AMD. AMD is a very much like a stair-stepping stock. So what do I mean by a stair-stepping stock? Basically, it's meaning that uh, it has a huge run-up, then trade sideways. Huge run-up, trade sideways. Um, and I can say you uh, with a fact uh which has been one of my my 17th most regretted trades ever is selling my AMD at four dollars. Okay, I owned a couple thousand shares around two to four dollars. Sold it once I got double on it. Again, that was uh, a very long time ago. It seems a very long. It only seems a couple years, but it seems like it's been a decade plus. But that is a very long time ago, and I, I'm still. That's it goes down to in the books of uh, my 17th world's largest mistake and one of my regrets um, with that with my trading accounts there. But that being said, here this thing kind of has that stair step higher mentality where it runs up stair steps, runs up stair steps, runs up stair steps, runs up stair steps. So what comes after a stair step? Another run up potentially. So looking here, going back to the weekly side, kind of gives you nice isolated continuous movement here, holding that 21 EMA, coming down to the 34, which is the orange line, and just continue to glide like a beautiful angel into the heavenly sky and getting us that cheddar, getting that money here. I'm looking for potentially to break that 95, 96 level, really breaking to all time highs and getting to that beautiful, uh, infamous uh, 99.8, which is a Fibonacci number uh, on the tree of the 1272 extension. But that being said, 
that's really going to be have to be updated here because it looks like this one is actually a low. Let me look at here real fast. Uh, no, this is not a low. This is a little bit lower, it looks like. Boop. All right, so this again, looking for $100, really looking for Tesla. Make fun of me, whatever. I think AMD's hitting a hundy um, by the end of the year, maybe. Uh, it, it's going to be a nice little earnings run going forth here uh, and potentially, again, with some longer dated targets. We're really looking for 110. Really, I would love to see 130, but I'm not going to be a greedy uh, uh, pig here, um, but looking for $100 of potentially taking some profit off the tables there. But this is, again, really with that options trade that we're looking at, this is kind of potentially what this individual or hedge fund or large investor is looking at on really having AMD again. Right where that level is, we have the the last four days, we've had those parabolic SAR dots with those little, little, little purple dots up here that's kind of been isolating, keeping the stock down, but it does not give a rat's butt. And we are squeezing the bull here for the bull market to come right at you through AMD, through the charts, and potentially breaking above this and hitting that $100 price target. Uh, with that being said, I'm not going to, I don't know when this is going to happen, uh, but this is looking like a beautiful kind of a cup here on the daily chart and really seeing that breakout to potentially test that $100 level. So be very mindful of that. So if you switch even back over to some of the options tree here, so why are they going out all the way to February? So they're giving themselves plenty of time on that options because if you have if you traded options for more than uh, 15 minutes you know that theta decay is a B word um, with that being said uh, theta decay is not your friend if you're trying to buy uh, calls uh, especially on a short dated time frame because because you're really just playing that, that, that wonderful game with the with father of time uh, okay theta the uh, the Greek mythology behind that um, really just uh, uh, it's just not a fun game to play when you're trying to battle against Theta um, and, excuse me, and time decay all together. So potentially again, wh what are we looking at here? So we go to back to a weekly side. We have potential earnings coming out the end of January. So this is really playing the movement, uh, a run up into earnings because again, there are a couple of January options. Again, this is the February monthly expiration. So you're gonna have the mo most volume coming in here. You can see on the January 29 at that $100 call, there's less than 100 options traded today. So this is why it really pays to understand on what options are very liquid. Um, it doesn't mean that, oh, it's a cheaper price or there's not much volume there. It in options, if you want to be in and out of things and really be there with uh, the bulls or the bears, depending on which way you're going, you want to be in something very liquid. Really lo initially looking at monthly expirations, the monthly option brackets, and not really touching the weeklies. I think that's honestly, I should put that as a pro tip for beginning uh, options or really traders. Don't really be touching the weeklies because that theta decay on those on top of the wide spreads on top of just lack of liquidity in those areas can be very tough. And that can really just put a, a, a cold cup of water all over your head when you're trying to trade those particular options. That being said, AMD kind of been trading around here, this level again, looking for that initial push into the um, um, overall uh, pushing higher into the uh, earnings here. We do have a squeeze setting up here, which we've seen multiple squeezes before. So on the reason I'm highlighting the weekly chart, it's because again, this option is nearly 67 to 70 days away. So this it takes a little bit time to kind of have this pattern play out. Um, with that movement again, we saw that squeeze kind of isolate here and it really popped substantially higher. We saw a beautiful squeeze set up here. It kind of consolidated on the 21 EMA and popped higher. It, we had a nice little movement here as well, popped higher. This one was not really nothing to write home about, but that being said, um, this is definitely, um, in my books, uh, I, I like this kind of setup. Uh, again, been in AMD for quite some time, so this is a nice, uh, finally a good time to be a shareholder in this stock, because it has been a little bit choppy in the past coming weeks, again, due to, again, it's really just kind of being dormant, not really giving a, an F about the overall market, and just kind of doing its own thing, and it's just being a, a little bit, uh, finally getting above that uh, $86 to $90 level, which we've been waiting for. And, and we're seeing that continuous mo momentum um, with the moving averages to kind of grind this higher again. 
doesn't mean this is just going to hit 96 and then it's going to automatically jump to 100. This could take a couple days, could take a couple weeks. I just wanted to highlight it to get it on everyone's board, add it to your watch list. If you're in it, good good trades, good trades. If you're not, a uh, little hesitant, a little bit, maybe taking small size here. But that being said, please be careful out there, folks. And if you're interested on checking out our uh, Discord, link in the description. And as well, uh, if you want to start trading uh, on options and uh, uh, equities, I would recommend and highly what I use is Tastyworks and affiliate link down in the description as well below. All right, guys, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!